I asked a question, and the question was refused. Now, it's been reported that this question is about this or about that, and it's been refused for one reason or another. I can tell you that my question made no reference to any whistleblower or any kind of uh, person, of a, a complainant from a whistleblower. But I will read you the question so it can be made part of the public record. Manager Schiff and counsel for the president, are you aware that House Intelligence Committee staffer Sean Misko has a close relationship with Eric Chiaramella when at the National Security Council together? Are you aware, and how do you respond to reports that Chiaramella and Misko may have worked together to plot the impeach to plot <coughs> impeaching the president before there were formal House impeachment proceedings? I think this is an important question, one that deserves to be asked. It makes no reference to anybody who may or may not be a whistleblower. The manager, Schiff, says he has no knowledge. If he has no knowledge, the rest of us can have no knowledge of who the whistleblower is. The president's team says they have no knowledge of who the whistleblower is. I think it was an incorrect finding to not allow a question that makes no reference. It means that anybody that anybody ever said might have been a whistleblower could never be discussed in a proceeding. I think it's very important whether or not a group of Democratic activists, part of the Obama-Biden administration, were working together for years looking for an opportunity to reach the president. With that, I'll take a few questions. Yes, sir. Well, I think it's pretty unprecedented, or it is unprecedented, for the Chief Justice to refuse or decline a question. Is there even a rationale from the Chief Justice about why he did what he did? You heard what I heard. With all due respect, shouldn't you be in the impeachment hearing right now? Yeah, I will be there very shortly. Thanks for the question. Anybody else? Senator Paul, why didn't you ask to overrule the ruling of the chairman? You have that right, Senator. Right. And that was a debate I made up until the very last minute. And I decided that we're going to have enough voting tomorrow that rather than delay the proceeding, I mean, we're going to have 12 hours of voting tomorrow, probably, that I would let the proceeding uh, go on. My point has always been to point out that you shouldn't be able to use statutes to somehow make a whole part of the discussion over this impeachment go away. Look, I'm the biggest defender of the whistleblower statutes. I, I've been the one saying that Edward Snowden is the greatest whistleblower of all time. Yet half of these people down here who say they support the whistleblower statute want to put Edward Snowden to death or in jail forever. So it's sort of selective uh, um, belief in protecting a whistleblower statute. But a statute shouldn't be such that people can use it, and then nobody says they know who the person is, but anybody you say might be, then all of a sudden is protected from being part of the debate. You had Peter Strzok and Lisa Page talking back and forth and back and forth about preventing the president from becoming, getting into office or having an insurance plan. What if we got Sean Misko and Eric Chiarmella over at the National uh, Security Council talking for years about ways to bring the president down? There are reports that people have heard them discussing bringing the president down shortly after the inauguration of the president. One or two more back here. What do you plan for today? Any other, any